Don't you just love the creativity of kids? It never ceases me to amaze at how creative my eight-year-old daughter can be. And what I love about her creativity is that it's so inhibitious. She has no shyness about just being uniquely creative and just trying to get her own idea out in a creative art form like this unique butterfly that she's created. Every year when we uh, create our Christmas tree, uh, we have a tradition. Uh, my wife and I, we, uh, we put the Christmas tree together. It's just a fake Christmas tree that's got three parts to it. And what we essentially do is we just stick the three parts together, then we put on the Christmas lights. And then after that, we give our two kids, I've got an eight-year-old and a three-year-old, we give them all the decorations. And they essentially just put it on the tree any way they like. My wife and I do not put any of these ornaments on the tree. Now my kids have no sense of, you know, color coordination or, you know, trying to make it look somehow artistic in the sense of, uh, you know, what Christmas trees looks like when you go to a store. They just take all the bowls and all the ornaments that we have in the box and they just stick it on the tree. And they have so much fun doing that. And it ends up with a tree that's pretty unique. I mean, uh, you know, there's just uh, all kinds of uh, little things that they throw on the tree, you know, um, and nothing that really matches. A lot of it is just the hand-me-downs that the kids just, you know, throw on the tree. And, uh, and, and it just becomes very, very creative. My daughter also made the string, as you can see, uh, the string that uh, she, she just makes out of paper and, and then she just put it on the tree, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just uh, her own idea. And that's what we love about our Christmas tree. It's, it's just a, some, somehow a unique expression uh, of our kids. I think sadly what's, what happens is that we, as we grow older, get forced into uh, environments that forces us to conform and we start to become conformists we start to dress like everybody else we start to talk like everybody else we start to think like everybody else I was on a flight uh, one time from UK from the UK to Europe for business and it just struck me when I got up you know, when I got into the plane in the morning uh, I was the only one that wasn't dressed like everybody else because nearly everybody in the plane, and they were mostly guys, were dressed in these black suits. It seems like that is just the business attire of, of Europe. Uh, when you walk into a bank, you know, all the guys look exactly the same. Politicians, don't, not only do they dress the same, they all have the same hairstyles. Have you ever noticed? And then sometimes they you know, even talk the same. All have the same things that they say over and over again. And I think we sometimes lose that unique creativity that is hidden within us and that we were so easily expressing as kids. Um, this morning when I got up and I prayed and meditated, the first thing that I did is I, I thanked God for my unique creativity. If you think about it, you know, we creative all day long. We, uh, we, we dress in a unique way. We string words in a unique way. Nobody dresses and nobody uh, decorates their homes the same way. There's so many things that we do every day creatively without even thinking about it. And then sometimes we get forced into losing that creativity and then trying to be a copycat of what everybody else does simply because we think, well, that's what's expected of us. And there is times when, you know, we need to be uh, socially acceptable. And yet, one of the things that I don't want to do is I don't want to lose my unique creativity. If you think about it, who are the people that's the most successful in life? It's the people that had a creative idea. Amazon, Apple, um, 
Microsoft. These were all just unique ideas. Facebook, Instagram. These were all just unique ideas that some people came up with and that is what made them successful. So think about your own creativity as you go through your day. What is it that makes you unique? And I think sometimes we should not be shy in just exploring and experimenting with our unique creativity. Because sometimes that idea might just be what sets you apart from everybody else and maybe even make you successful more than you could have ever imagined. So let's celebrate our unique creativity today. Talk to you in another video.